Hello, this video will help you uh, learn how to manage maps for your congregation using territory site. The first step of course is to register. Registration is free and all you need to do is enter your information here. Just agree to the terms of use and then fill out the, con the information here. For the purpose of this demo we already created a um, demo account. So let's log in using that. And we get started. You'll see that this particular congregation already has three territories. Let's open up territory zero. I'll open up two tabs for this purpose, one here and one here. So on territory zero, just to give you an idea of what it is for, this is usually the general territory of the congregation. In it, you will define smaller territories for each of the maps that you're going to give into your publisher's hands. But territory zero is usually the map that we give to our um, territory overseer only just to keep track of the overall territory that the congregation covers. You can also t see it under global map show territory zero and it will show you the area covered by that territory. Now if you go to territory list we have territory one in here which is a much smaller territory within territory zero. So if we go back to the global map and zoom in you will see that Territory 1 and Territory 2 are smaller territories within the bigger territory number 0. 1, 2 are actually territories. These are to be preached and they will be assigned to publishers. While Territory 0, again, is just for the whole con congregation. How do you draw a territory? Very easy. Just go to All Territories, create a new territory, Let's call it territory number three in this case. Insert. Go to territory number three. Go to map and draw. And uh, you can either browse to the location on the map where you want your territory be, to be, or just type in an intersection. In this case, it would be uh, this one, six in Kalamath in Denver. The map goes automatically to where your territory is supposed to be, more or less. So let's draw territory number three. I, uh, important thing when you draw, always go in the either clockwise or counterclockwise designing your maps. So you go, you start, you pick a starting point, one, two, and at your third point you'll see things starting to happen. Three, four, five, six, and we can move this, for example, and put it here, seven, and that could be our territory. Out of it. Save this map. Territory 3 is now done. If you now go back to global map and you zoom in, you will see that right next to territory 1 and 2, there's territory number 3. And that was a guide on how to use maps.